This is Deluge. 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 Baguette. Deluge. De bomb. Deluge. De baby. Deluge. That's what I said. This is Deluge by Synthstrom Audible. And in this video, we'll look at the new wavetable synthesis features added in firmware 4.0. Wavetable synthesis was teased as far back as 2019 when wavetable shortcuts first appeared on units. Now those features have been released. And let's see what they came up with. A few things to know about wavetable synthesis. Wavetable synths could be thought of as a hybrid between sample-based synths and subtractive synthesis. A sample is loaded into an oscillator and that becomes the waveform. But this shouldn't be confused with sample-based synthesis. What makes wavetable synthesis different is the ability to evolve and modulate the oscillator over time. Periodic waveforms are used in this type of synthesis. A small section of the sample is scanned and repeated to generate sound. Alternating the position allows for a more dynamic, evolving, and complex sound with rich harmonics. This type of synthesis benefits greatly from modulation. Scanning the position of a sample in conjunction with LFO modulation creates more dynamic sounds. For this to work properly, the oscillator wants to see a wavetable audio file, which consists of a series of single cycle waveforms. These can either be wave or AIFF monofiles. Samples designated for CRM or those with a CLM tag can be read by Deluge. Let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is load some wavetable files onto an SD card for the Deluge. You can make your own wavetables with software like WaveEdit. It's cross-platform and free. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. We have no affiliation or sponsorship with them. It's just an interesting tool for creating wavetables. Or you could find and download them through various sources. WaveEdit also has a community page of wavetable files available for free download. Link below. We'll download those and save them onto our SD card. I recommend saving them into a dedicated single cycle folder. Then load the SD card into Deluge. We have a default synth loaded. Now let's initialize the preset by pressing and holding the shift button and the synth button. Now press and hold shift and the browse shortcut for oscillator one. Bottom to top should be displayed. Press the select knob to confirm the selection. Samples will be previewed and we can use the select knob to browse samples. When we find one we like, press and hold the select knob until multi is displayed. Then rotate the select knob until wave is displayed. Press select to confirm the selection. This last step forces Deluge to interpret this file as a wavetable. With a wavetable sample properly loaded in Deluge, let's take a look at the wavetable synth features. The parameter buttons allow us to access common parameters of the synth. Press the last parameter button on the right for custom two and three. Here, the gold knob on top allows us to change the position of the wavetable. The bottom gold knob allows us to change the depth of LFO2, which is set to modulate the wave position. Let's see an example. What else do we need to know? Since Deluge can have two oscillators per synth, we can also load a wavetable file into oscillator 2 following the same steps as before. Press and hold shift and then browse for oscillator 2. Press the select knob to confirm bottom to top. Then browse for a wavetable file using the select knob. When we find one that we want to use, press and hold the select knob. Rotate the select knob until wave is displayed. And press the select knob to confirm. Now when we go to the custom two and three parameter page, the gold knob on top adjusts the position of oscillator 1's wavetable, and the gold knob on bottom adjusts oscillator 2's position. Other notes. We can also sync the two oscillators together for more options in sound design. Press and hold shift, and then press the oscillator sync shortcut button. 
Then turn on sync with the select knob and press the select knob to confirm. We can also use the ring mod feature. To do this, make sure that the oscillators are already set to wavetable. Then activate the ring mod feature within the synths mode page. One last note, there's some trial and error to selecting the right sample as a wavetable. I guess that's like any sample selection, but it's especially true for wavetable synthesis. Hey, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment for more awesome and helpful content. Thanks.